Today in PA is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. This leap month, leap into all the offers that Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania has. Like their buy one, get one window or door for 40% off. And another 200 bucks off your patio door project. That's at nothing down, no payments, and no interest for a whole year. Drop a line to 717-727-7558 or visit rbacentralpa.com slash deals for more information now. Groups that collect and distribute organs are under federal investigation. Meanwhile, U.S. Steel's Clareton Coke Works has been fined again. Here's a weather update. Plus, a World War II vet turns 103. I'm a Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in PA. The nonprofits that collect and distribute organs for transplants in the U.S. are under federal investigation, reports the Tribune Review. The probe is looking into whether or not these organizations, called Organ Procurement Organizations, or OPO for short, have overbilled payers, or, in some instances, billed for unallowable costs, thus defrauding the government in violation of the False Claims Act. One of the 56 OPOs under review happens to be the Center for Organ Recovery and Education, aka CORE, which is based out of Pittsburgh. OPO scrutiny isn't anything new, for the record. The Tribune Review did its own investigation in 2013 after they found how these organizations operate with little financial oversight while raking in millions of dollars in profit. Some of them, according to the Washington Post, have even failed for years to collect enough organs to meet demand. U.S. Steel's Clareton Coke Works has been fined again, reports the Tribune Review. Actually, it's the 10th pollution-related penalty it's been hit with since 2018, something which Director of Group Against Smog and Pollution, Patrick Campbell, called, quote, a pathetic record. The Allegheny County Health Department fined Clareton Coworks on Monday, accusing the plant of violating rules for uncontrolled emissions between March 16, 2022 and December 31, 2023. The fine amounts to $1.9 million, the third largest ever levied against the plant in the past five years. We got a bit of a taste of spring this week, states Penn Live. Alas, it was fleeting. It's supposed to rain and snow today, with lows hovering around 29. Tomorrow brings with it more snow and winds gusting up to 40 miles per hour, possibly. On the bright side, Friday's going to be 48 and sunny, then it's going to be 55 on Saturday, then 62 on Sunday. Maybe that taste of spring isn't that fleeting after all, then. A World War II and Korean War veteran turned 103 the other day, says Fox 29. Navy Lieutenant Ralph Perkner celebrated his birthday on Sunday at Mission Barbecue in Springfield, Delaware County, surrounded by loved ones and a bunch of cards, gifts, and special awards, including one from the Korean American Association of Philadelphia. When asked what the key to his longevity was, Ralph answered that it was all thanks to his five daughters. Them and years of waking up at 5 a.m. to swim at the local YMCA. That wraps up today's episode. For more headlines, visit penlive.com. And please remember to rate this podcast wherever you may listen to it and to leave it an honest review as well. Thanks ahead of time. And of course, thanks for listening. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and I'll talk to you tomorrow during more Today in PA. Today in PA is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. This leap month, leap into all the offers that Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania has. Like their buy one, get one window or door for 40% off. And another 200 bucks off your patio door project. That's at nothing down, no payments, and no interest for a whole year. Drop a line to 717-727-7558 or visit rbacentralpa.com slash deals for more information now.